village gate Potato fields. Fine to this village, but this same story and this uh, similar tradition is uh, even found in northern side of Angami, western side of Angami. Tukre meaning uh, it's a name of a devil. Uh, it's a name of a devil which is described in Eastern Kiris book as a devil with hairy body and uh, flaming eyes and uh, with a long knife and Jerry means he comes and sharpens his blade here yes he's also known as uh, the guardian of the wild animals guardian of the wild animals so in uh, ancient times in our forefather times it is believed that uh, when Tukre is present uh, and he's sharpening his blade even if you go hunting you will not get even a single animal to shoot or even if you shoot, you will keep missing because since Tukre is present, the entity is present and he's sharpening his blade and he's uh, guarding the uh, forest or uh, wild animals as a whole. Uh, you will not get even a single uh, animal to shoot at or to hunt in general. So that's the general idea. Uh, <clears throat> How far it's true, that is not mine to comment, but uh, the moral or the idea that we get here is preservation of wild animals and forest, uh, forest uh, goods, even in our forefather times, that the basic idea is there. That's what the main uh, story is about. Wow. 
Excuse me, sir. This tree give us fruit. We call it kolashe. <laughs> kolashe, kolashe. Let's show you. <coughs> this is the fruit. Is there anyone for my subscriber? Yeah. Rest in place. Potato fields, potato fields. Nay, yet here. The law is helpful for the people, you know. Talk loyal. Hey, sister.
come to you. We have, we have to protect our uh, women and children. That's why make men they used to take turns. Uh, like uh, one day I will be the one to be guarding. Next day another one. They used to uh, gather themselves into groups and they used to take turns and come to this place and uh, look for headhunters or enemies that are approaching the village in order to protect especially the women and children. Men obviously they can uh, protect themselves but the main idea is to protect women and children. And those days it was uh, told that uh, we have very good relations towards Visama side and uh, other sides but towards headhunters or yes, in, uh, Enemies used to come waging a war or something like that. So the main idea of this place is to uh, stand as sentry to look for enemies or headhunters that are coming to take heads from our villages. Yes. It's a very strategic place. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
This is the Tutipo stone. Tutipo means, uh, meaning this uh, stone is a mystical stone. It has magic powers or you can say it has supernatural powers. The main uh, story or the main idea behind this stone is uh, during ancient times or even now when uh, a sort of bad luck or devil emerges from this uh, downstream, the river that is uh, passing through the uh, valley. Whenever devil comes from that side, or whatever bad luck, uh, devil that carries bad luck or like diseases and all, come from down the stream or from this side, and they try to enter our village through this road. Uh, this stone, uh, the devil hits his head on this stone and he falls back okay. not uh, thereby not allowing the devil to reach the village and cause any harm to anyone that's the main idea whenever any sort of devil any sort of bad luck or bad spirit tries to enter the village through this route this stone is the one that uh, has mystical powers and the stone will attract the devil and the devil will come and hit its hat on the stone and it will fall back or it will go back to where it came from during uh, earlier days actually this stone uh, is considered sacred or uh, as sort of taboo you're not allowed to touch it yes if you touch it it is believed that you will get uh, certain diseases or stomach aches headaches things like that and so children are advised not to go near this stone or not to touch it because the devil hits his head from here and it is considered uh, a stone with mystical powers and it can even cause uh, bad omens so that is the main idea behind this uh, uh, cage that was uh, traditional cage that was made in order to prevent people from entering and touching the stone Ready? And smile. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Put the two fields. Nice, Java. Nice, Java. Every day, early in the morning, I used to eat three, four pieces. Every day. 
during this season. Christmas flower, <laughs> Christmas flower. See, the color rice. I think it's tongo. The name of the rice might be tongo. I'm not sure. Mislin y la coño. Yeah, yeah. But then we're warm now at least. Brama. <laughs> Once again, Miss Nila <laughs> Konyo. Hello, sir. Concert will be held here. Fox on and Fox Fusion.
Call it a church for animism, like a place. Even uh, today, if you ask someone who has been practicing the ancient ways and have converted to Christianity recently, they will say, uh, what is a place, uh, what is Ezako? If you ask them, they will say, it is a place to talk to God. Yes, that's what they will tell you. In a sense, all the rituals and all the uh, predictions or fortune telling takes place in this place, in this uh, ground called Ezako. And at the same time, this is also used as another sentry post, like the one we saw over there. To what buildings were not there, so the view was really good and very clear, and it extends a uh, little towards uh, something outside also. Yeah, yeah. So the view was very panoramic. So it is used not only as ritual but also as a sentry post as well. Yeah. During uh, ancient ancient days, uh, during the days of our forefathers, uh, they used to predict their luck or they used to predict their luck and also their fortune or their uh, fortune telling uh, in this very place and they used to hold various sorts of rituals one ritual is uh, they have to predict luck is they hold uh, two bamboo splits okay. together like this on their hips okay. one another person will be standing over there and he will also be holding the same uh, bamboo split and if the bamboo uh, and then they will start uh, the ritual and if the bamboo comes and joins together yeah. by itself yeah. it is considered as good luck okay. otherwise it is considered as uh, bad luck as bad luck that's what and uh, for example if I'm going hunting or if I'm going head hunting if I'm uh, worried about my fields and I want to know about the weather uh, I'll hold, I will uh, call my fellow uh, uh, fellow friends and will come here and will do some rituals and will hold the bamboo and will check whether will see whether the bamboo comes and touch yeah. touches each other, uh, each other. Yeah. and if the bamboo does that it is considered as good luck yeah. however it is also uh, some also believe that if the bamboo while coming together yeah. if it leans towards the left yeah. it is uh, sort of a bad luck mm. and if the bamboo leans towards the right it is considered good luck okay. yes that's the main history and the brief and a brief history about this place as alcohol mm. wonderful yeah. uh, as it is nothing is there right now but uh, the things of our great grandparents do no? yes mm. children yes. and uh, all sorts of uh, other youngsters are not allowed to enter this place, okay. yes, just like that. Okay. Only elders and people who are mastery of uh, the ancient religion mm -hmm. are allowed to come here and practice their rituals. Mm -hmm. But now in our village, no, no more Hundred percent Christian people. Yeah. Yeah. Great, there. Yeah. We should. Uh... Oh, oh, oh.